Mother of God, it's finally happening. Fellas, we are finally getting some hype, some trailers leading up to the Witch Queen. Today, guys, Savathun's throne world has been revealed to us in more depth. Now, if you have already watched this trailer, feel free to skip to the timestamp above. But if you have not, watch this right now. Guardian? Guardian, do you read me? We're here, Ikora. What is this place? We are in the domain of the God of Cunning. Things are never what they seem. Be careful. Tell me, O oh honored guest. Don't you want to escape? This throne world is indistinguishable from my own mind, Guardian. Every step taken, every bullet fired, I keep and count them all. It's not too late to turn around. Alright, so before we get too deep into the trailer, I want to bring up the pre-order bonus that was revealed to us. And maybe this was already revealed before, but I have not seen it until now. And that's this exotic SMG called Osteo Striga. Now, I think we've already seen that there was going to be an exotic SMG, but we didn't know the name of it. Interesting enough, Osteo means related to the bones. And Hive is all about some bones, right? Damn horny bastards! But well, we also got an emote and a ghost with some Hive hieroglyphics. With that being said, let's break down this trailer, fellas. First, the throne world. Now, it appears there's going to be multiple layers to this throne world, or at least that's what I'm speculating. And in terms of pure scope, I honestly am starting to think that the throne world here is going to be probably one of the biggest destinations we've ever gotten. Now, at 18 seconds, I just got to pause this screen right here, right? Look at that glaive. Does that thing not look aggressive? Also, the armor pieces for Witch Queen look so good to me. I have no idea. I know that it looks like a hand cannon there in front of us. Maybe a pulse rifle on the left, a fusion rifle there on the right. It's hard to tell. But if you're looking aesthetically here, it seems like Witch Queen really is trying to go for that spooky vibe. Like, man, if this was like an October release, right? It would have been perfect. Now, lo and behold, look at this. 22 seconds. We've got Oryx slaying what I assume to be Akka, which is one of the worm gods, of which afterwards Oryx becomes the Taken King. Now, if I'm messing up lore here, I'm sorry, man. I've been trying to get educated here lately. And the lore is really good. But I love that this is in Savathun's world because this tells you a couple things. Number one, Savathun doesn't hate Oryx, you know? She's probably proud of her family. And again, like Mylan mentioned in previous videos in regards to this sisterhood between Savathun, Zivu, and of course Oryx, is that their way of showing love was by killing one another, which is why they killed each other quite often. Now, a cool scene here at 23 seconds is showing a ginormous amount of thrall and cursed thralls at the foot here of Oryx slaying Akka just pouring out of these cracks. I think what's more impressive to me is the sheer amount of enemies that are pouring out right here at once, right? If you remember guys, this used to be a limitation in the past, right? Like how many ads you can have on a screen at once. But yeah, in situations like this, hell yeah, I would pop a bubble. Now at 26 seconds, we see a couple things. You see some numbers here. It says explore Savathun's throne world. You also see this XC and some other stuff. Been a long time since chemistry, fellas. But I went on Twitter and asked what the hell this is and everyone is saying it's the element osmium which is a chemical element with the symbol os and atomic number 76 it is a hard brittle bluish white transition metal in the platinum group that is found as a trace element in alloys mostly in platinum ores now i don't know why this is being shown to us here big shout out to some of the people here on twitter squatty being one of them stating that it is used in the chemical industry as a catalyst and then goes on to say that maybe this is something that is mixed with stolen light to create the first dark ghost man honestly that's a better guess than what i got let me know in the comments below why the hell this is even being shown 
Now moving on in the trailer, at like 27 seconds, you see the frames flip a bunch and it shows Savathun's throne world. And then it shows like the swampy portion, right? And then it shows what looks to be like the inside of Rasputin. Anybody else getting like Warmon vibes from this, right? Actually, the more I look at it, I actually think it might be the pyramid ships. I don't know. And then we see that Cody yet again expose her lies, Osmium. And then it shows our Titan doing something we don't see Titans do often. And I think he's thinking, or maybe he's just trying to expose some stuff. Now, it says take back the light. Now, we speculate we're not actually just going to be handed Void 3.0. But instead, Savathun's going to take it. She's going to amp that stuff. And then we're going to take it from her. And then, boom, we've got Void 3.0. Now, at 40 seconds, something happens here that I have never seen before. Boom. Our Defender Titan just straight up slammed his shield down and stopped the super coming at him. Now, we know Defender Titan is making a return. I know we kind of got it in the game right now, but it's like time into Sentinel's tree. Coming in Void 3.0, it'll be separated. And by the way, if you have not checked out our Void 3.0 video on Void Walkers, feel free to check it out. We just kind of go back and look at some of the Destiny 1 abilities and the Void abilities found on the Void Walker subclass and pretty much go over what we hope to see in Void 3.0. Defenders are definitely one we're going to look at next. But that ability right there where he slams the shield down, I'm wondering if this is just going to be a way to completely cancel out other supers. Now it zooms in and it looks looks like a barricade is being put up as he's slamming down. So maybe it's not part of the super, but maybe a super barricade. Maybe it's a thicker, longer, girthier barricade tied to the defender class. Now moving on, we see Savage Thick looking sexy as usual. Those three eyes, right? Uh. And then we see our hunter here looking like she's having some problems, man. She's just kind of buckling over. There's like three Savage Thicks there. I'd probably pass out too. That's way too much thickness in one room. And then Savage Thick ascends. Now, I'm assuming in this moment, this is actually like part of the campaign in some kind of way where like your light gets nullified and considering like that high pentagram that's around you, maybe you walked right into her trap and she took the light or something, but she ascends and in doing so, it shows that same creepy doorway at the top, all the different flowers, which by the way, remember this was the flowers that were in the black garden that after the crow, aka Aldrin Soft touched, that's when he became kind of evil, right? But then it flips over to this area, which almost looks like a sun in the background. And this whole zoomy stuff, man, is really tripping me out. But Savathic mentions that her throne world is literally her world. She knows everything that happens there. When you kill Hive, how many bullets you shoot, what you ate yesterday. She knows it all and she makes it very apparent nothing gets by her. Now, in like a minute and 12 seconds, look at this giant bell. Dude, does anybody get like Dark Souls vibes? Like one thing that makes Dark Souls 3 so good to me is the scope, right? The magnitude of the castles, the area Areas, they're just impressive. Destiny with Witch Queen is setting a new standard here. That is gorgeous. And then it showcases at a minute 15 some Hive Guardians casting supers, including Blade Barrage, Stormcaller, and Sentinel. And what Savathun says, it's not too late to turn around. Now, again, what's supposed to make Savathun so special is her deception. And currently, right now, we haven't really seen that level of deception. Like we kind of did, you know, she was being Osiris, but she wasn't. But we personally, we're not that deceived. What I'm hoping from with Savathun and his throne world is to truly see that level of deception. Again, that's what makes Savathun who she is. And that's what fed and feeds her worm. Now, the whole process of getting the light is to escape her worm, which I'm assuming she will successfully do given the fact that she has light. The question is, can you have both? Can you have both worm powers and light? And if you can't, can we get our own worm? Do for some dope subclasses and some exotics? I'd take a worm. So guys, that is our trailer breakdown for Savathun's throne world. We probably miss like a hundred freaking things. So expect us to be back again. If you've got any comments about what you saw in today's trailer, feel free to let us know in the comments below. And if you're new here, guys, feel free to subscribe. We are going to be going into this expansion together, breaking down every little thing we see. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.